red, left an angle on the pink and tried to cannon that red out because he's got the one to the left of the pink available. If he leaves it to the very last, he'll only have one chance. 42. Yeah, the pink's the best ball to try and move that difficult red. Now he's going to have to do it with the black, as you can see, anywhere near. 48. Just a little circle. Anywhere near there would be perfect. He's overdone that. 49. That's careless from Joe. Very careless. That was a good chance, but he can't move the red now. Yes, I'm a little bit surprised he screwed that instead of stunning it off the cushion and back. Just let the give us quite a bit of angle on that. Could have played a little soft stun and bounced it off the cushion and back, but he's let it go. And now, well, that chance of removing the red, as you say, is gone. But if you pot the black, you've got to leave yourself in a position to play a good safety on the last red. So, work to be done. Knocking that brown 56. relatively safe is not a bad thing from Joe's point of view because if he does slip up, the colours were all on their spots, but it would be a, a tough clearance. I'll tell you what, it's pretty tough to get this uh, to get this safe as well. I mean, it's not one you can bump, knock around the angles. As we look at it, he could hit it on the left-hand side, send the red across the table, and the white off the side and top cushion back up to the bulk area. Might be a choice for him. A, if he hits that thin and brings the red across the table, he can get back round that way. It's just an option for him. Where's that cue ball? He hit it much Joe too Parrot, thin, 76. didn't he? Yes, I'd have been tempted to play that red down off the side cushion top of and leave the white up near the black myself. Gone maybe twice, twice across, but it wasn't easy. Not often you see the pros take a double on, but that was one occasion where it was worth the risk. But I mentioned about the brown going safe, and uh, well, he's not Eight. nicely on the yellow, but that brown was uh, a good ball for Joe Perry to finish up relatively safe. Yes, it was also a big help that Steve Maguire didn't hit that black properly. Knew immediately as soon as he'd struck that one, it was coming close to the green with the cue ball. And this is a, a very fine cut and difficult to control. Steve Maguire, eight. Oh, has he got away with this again? He nearly went in the middle pocket. He missed the yellow because he had so much side on it. <laughs> Not a snooker. Just got to be a bit careful if he sends this around the angles. Played it well this time. Stephen just stepping aside, let the referee see the exact location of the balls, just in case there's any foul shots being played. That was about the best he could do. A chance for Joe to get back behind the black again, but uh, he's got to be careful with the cue ball. 
and also the object ball wants to keep it safe also. That's much better. You'd rather miss the snooker and get the object ball safe. There. It was quite a clever shot he came up with. This Took a chance, didn't he, to knock the brown out? Did he get a little double kiss? I'm not sure if he did or not there when he hit the yellow. It was as if it was a slight double kiss. No. But you're right, John. He tried to move the brown and fluked the yellow. Even though it's the first to 13, this is quite a key frame that we're watching here. Will it be four frames or will it be two, the difference? Well, not really much you can do with this, but try and chip the brown behind the black and leave the white somewhere near the blue, between blue and pink. Just a simple shot if you want to play that. He's gone for a double, has he? Oh, that's a scene. Absolutely obscene. Well, that's a couple of doubles he's pulled off, but Joe, he must be sitting in amazement. The last thing that Joe thought Stephen Maguire would try there was a double from that position. Fourteen. So he just needs the pink. So is he going to clinch this frame with that, has to be said, unusual double? of 56. It looked as if he was going to just be two frames behind, but after that double on the brown, Steve Maguire takes the frame. He leads 7-3. And 